Well, the NCA visited the Africana Enclave, which is home to a Hendrik Farfoot Museum and a Cook Sister Monument to find out more about this little Karoo town. Aranya's population is growing by more than 10% every year as it attracts Afrikaners from all over South Africa along cultural, but it insists, not necessarily racial lines. So tell us, who is this guy? This guy's known as the Little Giant. Um, he actually symbolizes what Aranya is about, going to work, rolling up your sleeves and, and getting your hands dirty. Aranya was founded in the Northern Cape in 1991 as an attempt to preserve Afrikaner culture in a changing South Africa. From its initial population of 13, it has grown to around 1,300 people. The town was bought from the Department of Water Affairs and set up as a private community, one which prides itself on hard work and self-determination. Many Afrikaner people these days just see themselves as whites and um, they're missing so much about the beauty of our culture just by saying I'm a white person. And uh, I'd like to wish more people in South Africa would understand that. It's more than just about being white or black. It's about having an identity. Aranya's residents reject the idea that their town exists as a way of forming an exclusionary community along racial lines. And they say Section 235 of the Constitution provides legal backing for their thinking. Anyone that's, that's, that's willing to, to uh, integrate into that, regardless of skin color, will be welcome in Urania. But after 26 years, there is no person of color living permanently in Urania. Evidently, oh, there's only white people living here, but that is not what it's about. I haven't met the black, any black or colored person that would want to be an Afrikaner these days. So, <laughs> so yeah, I, I, honestly, I haven't met an Afrikaner person from any other skin color group. Whatever Aranya really is, the community is growing by over 10% a year. And its economy is booming, thanks to tourism and agriculture. Unemployment is virtually non-existent. Aranya even has a worker hostel that takes in Afrikaners who are down on their luck. The better can circle what means on work to carry. This is a circle in work to carry in Aranya. Als daar monumenten opgericht moet worden in hierdie dorp, dan is het weer die mannen van Elim. Um, dit is die ouwens wat die, die aarde werkt doen, wat die paaie bouw, wat die rio grauw, wat die stenen gooi en pak. En elke dag in hierdie karoeson uh, hulle die opbring. So ek is baie dankbaar vir hierdie ouwens. You could easily mistake parts of Aranya for an apartheid museum. And as one of its founders was Hendrik Verwoerd's son-in-law, and the apartheid architect's wife Betsy settled here before she died, Many South Africans have a problem with Aranya's existence. We are shying away from South Africa's cultural diversity and, and actually entering more and more of an, of an English-only state We're in courts, in schools, at universities, where we should actually be um, embracing cultural diversity. I mean, this is mm. a deeply polarizing figure in South African history, even in Afrikaans history. You won't fix South Africa by... Uh, tearing down statues. You won't fix South Africa. You won't fix poverty. You won't fix um, education is issues and so forth by throwing every last bust of revolt in the ocean. I don't see any reason why you can't address South Africa's problems, play an active role, a uh, constructive role in, in that, and, and still take ownership completely of your heritage and of your past. And the people of Aranya argue that South Africa could learn a thing or two from their way of life. Take responsibility for your own people within your own culture. I think that is the best way to uplift people. Uh, to tell them uh, within their own identity, this is what we are going to do. This is how we're going to do it and this is how we're going to do it ourselves. And stop depending on government to do everything for you. You don't come to Aranya and hope that they're going to dish out something or make your life better. You need to come and contribute to it, Aranya, for all to benefit. I think most South Africans we don't care who's running the country, as long as he's running the country for the good, for all people. Analysts argue South Africa's racially polarized more than ever since the official dawn of democracy 23 years ago. And while the country's history will never unite its people, Grasa Machel has called on business leaders to play a greater role in elevating women in their businesses. She says empowering women shouldn't be seen as 